If he was struggling with family abuse, gang violence, a dropping out of school, mental breakdowns and the feeling of inadequacy, then this interview might just be for you. Inspirational speaker, life coach and preacher Mark Ramsing penned down a book he called Game Over to Game On, a real life story of courage and fortitude. And in this book, Mark uses his life story as the foundation for the inspiration he imparts to those who may feel like their lives are in ruins and do have trouble seeing a way out. He is in studio with us to take us through uh, some of the principles and tools that we could use to better our lives. Mark, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, thank you for the invitation. It's really a privilege to be here. Mark, this book is basically based on your own life story. Take us through those um, game over moments that you endured in your journey. Okay, look, um, I grew up in a home of privilege with my grandfather. And unfortunately, when, he was, when I was six years old, he had passed on and I had to move back with my dad. My dad was actually involved in drugs, gangsterism um, and alcohol and highly abusive. So we had grown up in an environment where family abuse, abuse was the norm. Mm -hmm. And that was very difficult for me because um, I had been personally um, experiencing what it was to, to be abused emotionally, psychologically and physically abused. And um, so, so life was really difficult because um, at one stage in my life I had to actually run back and forth to get drugs for my dad as well. Mm. And uh, junior school was, was quite difficult because every time I had gone through periods of abuse I had to go and live with a relative to recover and come back home and it was just a, a horrible and vicious cycle. And as I journeyed through life um, in senior high school I realized that I couldn't continue after grade 9 because my dad had spiraled into um, a level of extreme drug abuse. And he was a talented, gifted person, a master craftsman in construction, and he had lost everything to drugs and alcohol. And the sad part of it all was that I'm, um, I, we had actually spiraled into a place where we were about to lose the house, we didn't have an income, and I had taken a decision to actually drop out of school and support the family, and the, I had three younger brothers. So, um, dropped out of school at, at grade nine, uh, loved school, um, enjoyed it so much. It was so much my refuge at, at times. And I had dropped out of school and, and then uh, started working um, as well um, to support the family. And by the age of um, 19, um, my life spiraled out of control because the years of emotional and psychological abuse resulted in a mental breakdown and I was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Mm. Institutionalized for three months in a mental institution, the medication was just horrific. The side effects and I had become literally a zombie. But Mark, why didn't you give up? All the circumstances were against you and yet you're here today. You've written this incredible book. Your life has taken a turn for the better. What would go through your mind in those moments where you experience the abuse, the difficulty and the challenges. Uh, why, why do you think you made it out and made it out alive? I think what, what was very important for me was that I've see, I'd seen the cycle. I've witnessed the cycle live. And I realized that I was going to break that cycle. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a mindset of every child that goes through that environment is either you succumb to the pressure and repeat the cycle or determine in your heart that you're, it's going to take every single ounce of your energy to actually break that cycle so that you can set um, a new trend for a next generation that can bring hope to generation, for generations to mm. come. And I think that's what compelled me to actually stand stronger. And the prayerful support system that I had was really the courage that I drew to be able to help me overcome those dark moments. Let's talk about your motivational speaking. What are some of the themes that you, you tackle when you talk to people and, and try to encourage them to have that positive outlook? Because I can understand that some people are not necessarily born with that innate ability to be able to mm. think positively and act positively. Other people really need that little push in the right direction. So what is it that you share with people who okay. hear you speak? A few fundamental lessons that I've learned in life. You know, we can remain victims or we can be victors, one of the two. We are not defined by what happened to us. 
And those moments in the history of our lives are just that, moments. Mm. Moments of, of difficulty that if we look back has no real power over us unless we choose to live in that moment. Mm. One of the slogans that I live by and is part of my personal brand is adversity will bow to destiny. Mm. And I think for us, lessons learned through adversity gives us the courage and strength to face the next chapters of our lives with a new level of tenacity and courage that we never had if we had tried to learn lessons ordinarily. Mm. And I believe adversity can become your best friend if you allow the lessons that you learn through adversity to help you overcome all of the challenges that you face. It prepares you for um, what your future holds. You know, and I believe that we are all sons and daughters of destiny, that every single one of us are born with purpose. And we have a divine purpose. And when we understand that um, adversity is not our enemy, but can become our friend, I mean, the story of this country is a story of adversity and overcoming adversity. So it's a universal principle that we can apply to our lives and uh, refuse to remain victims. Hmm. Mark, there are people who are watching this program today probably thinking, what are some of those practical principles or tools that uh, we can implement in our, in our daily lives? I know that you share some of them mm -hmm. in that book. Why don't you just take us through one or two? Okay, what's important is to never uh, lock yourself into understanding that your pain is your prison. Mm -hmm. Your pain can be your platform. Mm -hmm. So when you realize that, listen, this pain is a journey that I've, that I've gone through that I can use to help others learn lessons, how to overcome the pain and make that a platform to teach the world that there's hope beyond your wildest dreams if you believe in yourself. There are no superheroes. That happens in Marvel comics and yes. it happens in movies. But you can become the greatest superhero of your own life if you begin to realize how great you are. There's greatness invested in every one of us and locked in obscure places if only we could discover that talent and discover that, that, that greatness in people and give them the opportunity to express themselves, we will find that there are so many beautiful stories out there untold. Mm. And speaking of untold stories, you mm. work with uh, aspiring authors, people who you know, are looking to have their material or their work published. Talk to us about how you got involved in that and why it's important for you to help others to tell their stories. Okay. When I was going through the experience of trying to publish my own book, I realized that the industry does not support um, unknown writers. Mm. It's just the, 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 the fees are astronomical. The cost is just ridiculous. And I didn't have the capital outlay to be able to publish my book through a mainline publisher. I knew I had a compelling and a good story. But um, everywhere that I went, it was just unreachable. And as I wrote the book and realized that I did have the support system to publish it and the printing company to support me and good friends and, and family to support me, I realized that there are lots of people out there that do not have a cent hmm. and yet they have a dream. Hmm. And for me, because I've, I've found so much of courage and hope uh, through my faith, I believe that life is about not just success but significance. Hmm. And significance means adding value to the lives of others. And that was an opportunity to take impoverished writers and make their dreams come true. And it was an amazing journey and a continuing amazing journey for me because when you see this kid walk through the office and say, and say, listen, I know your story because I've lived that. And I can tell them, let's make your dream come true. And that for me is adrenaline in itself. I mean, um, that's what, what drives me is adding value and hope to the lives of others. And, and that's why I want to help other young writers uh, fulfill their dreams. And mm. because that's what it is. Sometimes it's, it's actually the only mechanism that they can use to generate income to break that poverty cycle. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's all about giving back, giving back in life. Hmm. Mark, I know that uh, your books are still available. Um, mm. People can contact you to get a copy. How do we get a hold of you? And are you busy with another book? Is there another book in the pipeline coming? Well, yes, you can get hold of me personally on my uh, cell phone number. And it's 084-2473-670. I have a website and you can visit that website on www.gotgoweb.com. Um, so all my contact details, the services we provide... Um, is also there. We're also available for inspirational talks. We do mm. workshops for 
uh, underprivileged kids um, on writing and the pitfalls uh, of writing and how to become a writer. So um, yes, we, we, you can contact us on our website and, 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 and personal cell phone number. Oh, Mark, it's been such a, a great chat here with you this morning. Thank you so much for coming and come back once you've written that second book. <laughs> yeah. And we can chat about that, okay? We would love to. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you for Thank all your you amazing for the work. And honor then. Well, that's uh, preacher and motivational speaker Mark Ramsing uh, speaking to us about his book titled Game Over to Game On, a real life story of courage and fortitude. If you also belong to a book club or perhaps you're a lone reader, you can also join us for a Sunday morning book feature to talk about some of the books that you're reading or uh, have read just send us a detailed description of your book club on email you can also send us a picture of those books with a brief caption on our social media platforms at morning live sabc is where you can find us on twitter and facebook and of course you can email us uh, morning live at sabc.co.z